What is up, everybody? This is Jay Dumont. Thank you for joining me. Today we are starting a little Let's Play series of Knights of the Chalice. What is Knights of the Chalice? Well, if you don't know, it's a 3.5 edition D&D CRPG. Um, it's an indie game. And we're just going to get into start a new game. So you roll your characters like in D&D. Well, it is D&D. But you roll your characters. So we're going to roll, let's see here. You make a four-person party. Oh. I'll take that as a knight. Um, let's confirm the abilities. So there's three races. There's the half-elf, the mole which is a tough crossbreed of, cross of dwarves and humans. They combine the strength and powerful constitution of the dwarven parent with the cunning and height of a human parent. They have stern facial features and are always male. They make excellent combat combatants. So we'll make him um, a mole. We'll make him chaotic good and he'll be red. Be male, so we pick two feats. If you're familiar with DD 3rd third, third edition, you know what you're looking at here. Recommended cleave and longsword, so we'll pick cleave, which it's a prerequisite for great cleave. With the cleave feat, whenever you kill or render unconscious a creature with a melee attack, you gain an immediate additional melee attack against another opponent within reach. The additional attack is performed automatically and is lost if there are no other opponents within reach. It uses the same weapon and same attack roll bonuses as the previous attack. You must use this ability once every round. So we'll get Cleave. And... Forge Weapon and Armor is a good choice. Alright, with this feat you can create a non-magic armor or weapon with your choice at the cost of gold and possibly experience points. At an extra cost, you can also create masterwork items and items made of a special material. You can also make normal arrows and crossbow bolts, see weapons and armor for a list of all possible items. Sure, why not? Let's forge weapons and armor with him. Alright, his name is going to be... Kanar. Character one. And he's actually gonna be green. Let's make give him a green shield. Alright, character number two. Let's keep rolling until we find something. This looks pretty good for this character. Um no, let's keep rolling. This looks pretty good, but let's reroll that intelligence. I'm gonna be a knight, but a female knight. Be a half elf, neutral good. Yellow blonde is fine. Silver. Silver's a good name. Let's pick her two feet. So. I want to give her a bow and arrow. So let's see here. Point blank shot. This feat is a prerequisite for the feat's precise shot and improved precise shot. The point blank shot feat improves your attack roll and damage roll when shooting at a target no farther than 15 feet, 3 squares. You gain a bonus of plus 1 on these rolls. So we'll get point blank shot. And, um... Weapon Finesse. So, whenever you conduct a melee touch attack, unarmed attack, melee attack with a light weapon or rapier, you use your dexterity, mod refer bleh, my dexterity modifier rather than your strength modifier to determine the attack roll. This benefit does not apply to grapple checks. Note, however, that if you carry a shield, the shield's armor check penalty will apply to the attack roll. Monsters sometimes use this feat as all natural weapons are considered to be light weapons. So in case she does get like a sword or something, like a rap, uh, rapier or a simple weapon, she can use her dexterity roll to hit. 
I'll accept that. Now we're gonna roll a wizard. Looks pretty good. 16 intelligence wizard. Half elf wizard. Also a female. Looking for the black robe. <clears throat> Her feet will be. Let's try superior concentration. This feet gives you a bonus of plus four in all concentration checks. Concentration checks, 1d20 plus cast level plus con modifier. Also needed whenever casting defensively or casting under disturbing circumstances. So that sounds pretty good. Let's give her a superior concentration and pick her spells. Elizan? Elizan? That looks, that's a good name. Alright, so... <clears throat> first we want sleep. Then we want... Reduce person, then enlarge weapon, entangle, magic missile, enlarge person, and ray of enfeeblement. Should be neutral good. Female wizard, alright, and finally. Elizan, Eris, the male cleric, so we'll <clears throat> try to roll some wisdom here. Pretty sure this has to do with the ability for clerics, okay. So 16 wisdom. I don't like those stats. Those are way, 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 way better. He'll be a male. Neutral good. Cleric. In blue. Let's see, scribe scroll. With this feat, you can create scrolls of any spell known by you. When scribing a scroll, your character spends some gold and experience points. The amount depends on the spell's level. Some spells also have a higher cost than other spells at the same level. Um, scribe scroll. And... Superior concentration. Let's pick some spells. Let's get Bless. This is basic D&D stuff. Cure Light Wounds. Light. Bane. Enemies in the area of effect are filled with fear. They receive a penalty of minus one to both attack rolls and will power saving throws. Right, we'll go Bane. Um, how about summon a water elemental? It appears where you designate an axe immediately after the caster's turn. It attacks your opponents to the best of its ability. The creature's hit dice is equal to the caster's level. Or level plus one if summoning rainy weather. You may have no more than one summon creature at any time. One round per level. Sure. Will work best in the in the rain. How about protection good from evil? Subjects gain a plus two armor class and saving throw bonuses against evil creatures. When cast by evil clerics, the spell gives the same bonuses against attacks and spells from creatures of good. Burglemere. How about Baragas? Whoops. Neutral good. Cleric. 
All right, let's roll. We'll play Iron Man mode, which means when your party's defeated, this is permanent. You cannot reload the game using a previous save. In Iron Man mode, you're allowed just one save game. You may not reload the save game during play, and after saving, you must leave the game. Let's just play on normal. Alright. Commander Karif addresses you. Brave knights, I thank you for answering my call so quickly. I need you to conduct an investigation. Continue. Our agent in Corinth, Constello, has ceased to answer my messages. You must find out why. Go to Corinth, find out what is happening, and resolve the problem. I'm afraid I cannot help you more, and if I gave and I have other matters to attend to, you're on your own in this mission. Good luck. Alright. <clears throat> so here we are. We have to go to Corinth. First we're gonna do some talking. Tink is a short and stocky individual responsible for the weapons and armor inventory of the Knights of the Chalice. Okay. Welcome, friends. I am Tenkets, the Quartermaster. I can sell you weapons and armor. Are you interested? I have the storeroom key? The key to the storeroom? I am not supposed to give it to you. <clears throat> but I can make an exception if you bring me back the silver ring. Where is that? I lost it during a raid in the caves southwest of here. It is. It has no material value, only sentimental value to me. Let's see what I can do? And show us your wares. We have 244, there's nothing we can really buy. Let's continue on. Heavy metallic door is locked, you'll need the key to enter. Alright, down the steps. Silver. The wizard speaks in a soft voice. Welcome, dear friends. I am Quarus, at your service. However, presently I have a service to ask of you. Shania, my apprentice, must practice the art of summoning creatures. I will be busy focusing on her, so could you get rid of whatever creature she summons? Sure, I'll do what I can. Good, then we shall start the summoning right now. The two wizards begin intoning in magic words. Proceed. Suddenly, three water elementals appear. You hear a rumbling sound. Quorus, you should not toy with us. One day you will pay. Continue. The elementals rush to attack. Alright, so... Baragos. Attack. Nice. And this is Elizan. She's got a spell so she can just chill. Do a charge attack. Hmm. Ouch. Oh, she's unconscious. Kill this thing, bros. Alright, cast a spell. Magic missile on it. There we are. Alright, we got some experience wards. For defeating the wild elementals, each party member gains an additional 150 experience points. Alright, so she needs to be cured. Silver has a bow. So how do we equip that? And a rapier. Alright, so Varagas needs to cast 
your light wounds on there. Do it again. Alright, cool, she's good again. Alright, so what was that about? Many thanks for your help against the elementals. Here, take this 300 gold as a reward. Now maybe you would be interested in buying wands or scrolls. Yeah, show me what you've got. Alright, some... Pretty decent scrolls. Hmm. Should I buy a healing wand for 331? I just did. And who are you? The attractive half elf wi wi wizard addresses you in a voice charged with exotic accents. Nice to meet you. I am Shani, apprentice to the master sorcerer, Quorus. Nice to meet you. I am an expert in secret codes and languages. If you ever come across one such message and you have difficulty deciphering it, be sure to come and see me. I will help you. Thank you. Alright, so I want to... Okay, he's got the healing wand. give that to somebody. He's a knight. He shouldn't be using that wand. Simple weapon is popular among wizards as is enchanted with the energy of a spell. A wand may contain up to 50 castings of a spell. It may be recharged after the charges have been exhausted. One requires one hand to use, therefore the other hand could be used to cast somatic spells. Oh, pass it to someone else. Okay, pass it to Baragas. Alright, cool. You enter the dormitory, you see two knights playing dice by the beds. The young man waves at you. Hi, would you be interested in a game of dice? Yes, please explain how it works. We both roll two dice and count the total. If I score more than you, you pay me 50. If you score more, I pay you 50. If it's equal, we throw again. Okay. I've got to go. The man mutters. Hmm, can't talk. Too busy playing dice. So let's continue Oop, out of here. And um, save game here. Nice. As you make your way through the entrance hall, you are frozen in your tracks as shouting erupts all through the hall. Orc attack! Orc attack! Let's join the battle. second everybody as they all get good morale. Alright, so this is the furthest I've ever gotten in the game. I've never got past these works. Oh, one of our guys is down. So this is silver. Let's see, move here. And shoot. A range attack on, not too far away. How much can she move? turn.
Hmm. Oh, we're getting stomped already. Elizan. Can't cast sleep. Cast a tangle. Baragos, my cleric. Oh, his spells aren't readied? Oh, that's no good. Thanks. things. I want to see what happens after this. Oh, down goes my mage. Kanar has low morale. Get up there and attack that one. Oh, down goes Baragos. Ouch. Nicely done. He accidentally shot his own dude. He accidentally shot his own dude. survive this are we ready our spells so you have to oh he's out of spells can we rest how do we rest We just fight it without it then. Let's try this again. Nice. Not nice. Alright, well, 
Poison can come up here and cast... Ninety-five percent chance, really. Nice. Not nice. Cool, so far so good. Do it this time. Ouch. Oh, I went an attack of opportunity there. Beautiful. Blanket. Um, attack. Right, she went unconscious, but we're going to do it. Makes a incredible stand. All right, we all got 1125, 563 gold. The party's defeated the orc raid. Each character gains 100 experience points for, for su each surviving allied knight. crossbow bro and the studded leather and the scimitar oh 
Okay, they have to walk over to it. I get it now. Alright. And everything? Alright, let's uh, check our inventory here. So the wizard has a heavy crossbow and a battle axe. Chain shirt. He's got scale mail. We can sell this stuff. I've played scale mail. Plus one heavy mace. That'll go to... Baragas. So we can put that on. Equip that. There we go. Studded armor, no. What about this half plate armor bonus seven? Heavy proficiency. It's made of both metal rings and metal plates. The plates cover the vital areas. armor bonus of four. You can put that on. Alright. <sighs> Click to level up. Okay, KNR leveled up. Ability scores. No abilities increase this time. He gets a new feat. You gain plus three hit points. Let's get toughness. Except silver. Gets a feat. Dodge. Increases your armor class by giving you a dodge bonus of plus one. Note that you lose your dodge bonuses in the following circumstances when you're blind, flat footed, grappling, stunned, cowering, or attacked by an invisible opponent. Unlike most other type of bonuses, you can have several dodge bonuses at the same time. Alright, we'll give her a dodge. Eliza gets new two, two new spells. So we'll get Ray of Frost and Mage Armor. If they come after the mage. He gets two new spells, get darkness, and it's divine favor. You can call upon a deity's power to gain a luck bonus to attack rolls, damage rolls, and all saving throws. The bonus is plus one below level six. Alright, that sounds pretty good. Ten HP, that's pretty cool. Alright, now how do I rest? That's what I'd like to know. Go back and sell some of this stuff. You are visiting the canteen, a large room filled with tables and stools. You enter the lavatories and overwhelmed with the smell of urine and excrement. Then suddenly something falls down from the roof. Oh, a centipede. Looks like. Ouch. Delay. Delay. Bro. this thing. Oh, one guy's down. Whew. 150 XP. This place is dangerous. Barrels. Alright, let's head back down. Sell some of this junk. Alright, 
so I want to sell scale mail, studded leather, falchion, two-handed sword as a curved blade. I don't know, what's Kanar using? Long sword. One hand, one d8. No, let him use the fashion. The fashion has a 18 to 20 times 2 critical. 2d4, so we'll sell the long sword. Sell the short bow. Can Eliza use the short bow? Apparently she can. Sell the heavy crossbow, sell the paddle axe, morning star, chain shirt, scimitar, scimitar. Alright, we have 922. Can we buy anything? Arrows. Buy 20 arrows. Buy 20 more. Anymore. They're only one gold apiece. 99. Alright, I'm not sure how to rest. Seems that we have to head to the cave southwest of the town. Tattered letter. What is that? You have found this note on the body of an orc. Unfortunately, it's written in orc and you fail to understand the meaning. Oh, but that woman is well skilled in the orcish language, I'm sure. Thanks for bringing this message to me. I have translated it. She hands you the translated version. Thanks a lot. Each party member gains 50 XP. Lunch planned attack launch plan attack as soon as possible rewards other half to be handed at fort caravan to depart soon after village raid okay so we better save how long have we been playing half hour let me know in the comments if you want to see more Knights of the Chalice. Oh, yeah. Found some gems. How do we rest though? Apparently this game is as long as Baldur's Gate. I've never played it much. Hmm. Cave entrance. Corinth. Orc stockade. Let's go to the cave entrance. Counter with a wild snake. Start combat. Sealed. Ouch, he just killed a character. The 
snake is deadly. Wow. Silver and bear guns get 450, but the other two are literally dead. Let's reload. All right, I'm gonna look up how to rest. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I figured out how to rest, thanks to Rogi on RPG Codex. So apparently, come upstairs and you find a campfire like this one here. You go click it, and your characters rest. So let's try to get to this cave entrance without dying. Running into a deadly snake again. I guess this is the cave. Friendly little bug. As I said I've never played this game before, I've never explored this. to expect. You've disturbed the lair of two massive bears. They growl but do not attack. What does the party do? Wait. You hear a voice in your head. Greetings, adventurers. Years ago, a forest druid gave me powers of telepathy. Since you do not have hostile intentions, you are welcome to my lair. Nice to meet you. Feel free to ask me any question you like. find in the lower levels. There is a community of giant spiders below. I've had no dealings with them. There are also some walking corpses. We killed some of them. Um, how big are these caves? Next to my lair is the entrance to a large underground complex. I believe there are two or three lower levels. Can we make our camp here? Listen, to seal our friendship, please bring us back some zombie meat from down below. Then you can make your camp here. Understood. Farewell. Good thing we waited there. Right, let's make a new save. Can never save too much. The party makes its way through a wide cave. Suddenly you hear the sound of something falling. And that appeared to be my game crashing, no? Proceed. Um, better not waste anything, just attack. Ouch. Dang, Nabbit. Giant spiders have entered the cave and address you in a strange clicking voice. Welcome, adventurers. We have watched your fight and congratulate you for your martial ability. Why did you not... Uh, nice to meet you. We are spiders from the Black Cove, our home. This is south of here. We serve Kutula, the great goddess. Okay. Our domain is constantly under attack by an evil undead creatures. Their lair lies east of here. Noble souls, may we ask you to go and destroy them. You will be rewarded. See what I can do? You are most gracious. When you are ready, just follow the eastern tunnel. We will return to the Black Cove. Goodbye. See ya. <clears throat> the east tunnels. Get in there. Hmm, another one. Maybe we 
should use the magic missile there. Ouch. She's unconscious. Cool. Ouch. Ergos is unconscious. Plus one heavy pick, or just the heavy pick. Zombie corpse. All right, now we can make camp here. Day friends, I hope your adventuring is going well. I brought some zombie meat. Many thanks. As you have done me a service, I will do one for you. You can now rest in this cave. We will guard the entrance. Thanks. Sweet. Good on you, bears. Alright, so what mysteries do we have to unlock next time as we fight more undead? Get the help of the bears and perform a deed for the Black Cove Spiders. Tune in and find out. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Let me know if you want to see more. Peace.